Hello everybody, children of Cloister Club and anyone else watching this video. It's really great to be with you today. Um, we're outside on the Cathedral Green and I want to introduce you to the labyrinth. If you've been on the Cathedral Green in the last few weeks, you might have noticed this wonderful pattern that has appeared in the grass, which we created. And I'm just going to stand out of the way for a moment so that you can get a better look at the labyrinth. So what is a labyrinth? A labyrinth looks a little bit like a maze, but it's not a maze because in a maze you can get lost, whereas in a labyrinth there's only one path through the pattern to the middle. So when you start on the path and you just follow it round, eventually you get to the middle. And why do people have labyrinths? Well, they're very, very ancient, but people walk them these days as a way of prayer, as a way of becoming close to God. So you w walk it with prayers and with thoughts in your mind, which are about journeying with God. So let's go for a little walk into the labyrinth. I'm gonna walk backwards so that the camera can follow me. And we're not gonna go all the way around because it will take too long. But as we journey the path, we imagine we're on a kind of pilgrimage. You might go on a pilgrimage to some other place like Canterbury or to Rome or to Jerusalem, but the pilgrimage, which is the labyrinth, simply goes round the same area, a winding path, which eventually gets to the middle. Well, we're gonna take a shortcut to the middle because it'll take too long for me to walk right round. So here we are in the middle of the labyrinth. And when we get to the centre of the labyrinth, it gives us a moment to pause. We've reached the destination and we've made the journey with God. But of course, the middle is not actually the end because when you get to the middle, you've got to turn round and go out again. So we start the return journey. And again, we're going to slightly short cut to the end because it'll take too long. Labyrinths don't have to be in the ground or on the grass. I've got a labyrinth here which is made of wood and this is a finger labyrinth. You simply trace the path with your finger and again it's a sort of exercise in mindfulness, in quiet contemplation in which you can notice your journey with God because all of life is a spiritual journey in which we are trying to get to the centre of all things, where God is. So I want to encourage you, if you're on the Cathedral Green or make a special trip here, come and walk the labyrinth nice and slowly, nice and quietly. Or of course, do it playfully. You can run round it, have a little picnic at the centre of the labyrinth. And whilst you do so, remember that the whole of the journey of life is journeyed with God. Let's take a moment to pray. Gracious God, we thank you that you stay with us on the journey of life. Help us to notice your presence in all things and trust that you are our companion through good and ill, through Christ our Lord. Amen.